Hi, this is Robert Bolaños. Uh, I'm going to revisit uh, how to model a diode using a data sheet. I made a video and I showed the procedure and uh, basically once I have the equation I use MathCAD and there's a function called min error and uh, that you can use from MathCAD and it will uh, extract uh, the spice parameters to model your diode but uh, not everybody has access to MathCAD so another thing that you can do is and it works basically the same way is you can download the latest version of microcap let me go ahead and bring this up and you can select new and then go here into model file and you can actually model diodes NPN transistors PNP MOSFETs uh, and cores so I'm gonna go ahead and select diode okay and you get this uh, menu and let me go ahead and see if I can bring this is one of the one of the models that I've or diodes that I have modeled this is actually the diode that's internal to a MOSFET and to model it in MathCAD you put this given statement and then you put uh, in this case I did four plots or four data points which is the uh, VDS 1 and the current at that particular VDS so the, here's the values and then what you do is you uh, these are the three parameters that you want to uh, calculate which is your RS NS the ideal factor and the saturation current so you give it a uh, a guess and then when you put these equations you end up with these uh, 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 parameters so basically this would be your RS series resistance the ideal factor and the saturation uh, 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 current so you can do the same thing here so in this case we'll go ahead and I'll copy that and I'll say that it's going to be the diode for the NTB01N15MC so I'm going to copy these numbers which is 0 0.55 and the current is 0 0.001 okay and then 0 0.6 the current is going to be 0 0.02 which is 20 milliamps okay so I got that and now 0 0.8 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 is going to be 10 amps that's a huge current and if you notice here's one plot and here's another data point and we'll continue with the last number we'll say one volt and one volt that corresponds to 70 amps okay so here's some of the data point here's the one volt here's the 0 0.8 0 0.6 and then right here is the 0 0.55 okay so this is the curve so now what you do is you go to model and you believe you optimize and then what it does there you go see so now it got this curve that follows very close to your data point and here is your IS so in this case IS is 321 femtofarads 
IS is 315 femto, pretty close. Uh, the ideal factor N is uh, 955 milliohms. Here is uh, it's not ohms, but its uh, ideal factor is 0 0.955, and here is 0 0.954. Close enough. And then you have the series resistance is 2.6 milliohms. Here is 2.64 milliohms. So it gives you these three parameters, which is what you need to uh, model the diode. So now you go back to model, and then here it says create model for this part. Okay, so then you press, overwrite it, and there you go. Here is the model. Okay, right there. Let's see if I can. So here it names it, uh, it puts these parameters, but these, the IS is what you want, the N is what you want, and the RS. So this model you can go ahead and copy it and you can use it with a microcap or you can copy it and use it on your LT spy simulator or any other simulator that you have. Okay, hopefully you found this uh, interesting. If you like it, please uh, subscribe, uh, thumbs up, and share. Thank you for watching.